Hey guys, Matthew here. I thought I'd take a few minutes of time to talk about the Mighty Number no. 9 beta that was released about 5 weeks ago. I was hoping to get a video out before now, but 2 weeks ago when I was making the previous video they released a whole new level on me. I thought it better to stop, play it, see what I thought and give you a more rounded opinion. A few of the changes they made addressed some of my uh, concerns anyway, like I had an issue with the button configuration but has been fixed now, so no problems there. But anyway, this game was kickstarted a year ago, September to October 2013. Uh, it raised $3.8 million of the original $900,000 goal. So a lot of people want this game, 67,000 to be precise, of which I am one, hence why I'm in the beta. And the question is why? Well, the game is being developed by Concept and Intercreate, and produced by Kaiji Inafune. Kaiji is famous for, among other things, the Mega Man franchise, a game where you play as a good robot who must battle a series of evil robots, steal their powers, and use them to beat other robots and ultimately the big bad at the end of the game. And this is his new game, hopefully the start of a new franchise. Mighty Number no. 9, you play as a good robot, the titular Mighty Number no. 9, who battles a series of evil robots, steals their powers, and uses their powers to beat other robots and ultimately save the day. So you can kind of get the idea and the impression of what the game is supposed to be like from that. So, while it's not a wholly original idea, admittedly, the flip side of that is why change all works. Mega Man is arguably one of video games' most nostalgic franchises. A lot of people today who grew up on video games grew up on Mega Man. I didn't personally, I've never actually played a Mega Man game myself, which is a omission in my video game history that I should probably correct. But the point is that the Mega Man franchise is important to a lot of people, and this game is widely regarded as the spiritual successor to that Mega Man franchise, since Mega Man isn't really doing much these days, although he is in the new Smash Bros. games, which will be interesting, shall we say. I'm eager to see how that plays out. But uh, let's dig in, shall we? So the original version of the beta released with the military base level, which is Mighty Number no. Five's level, and then this was added two weeks ago, the Waterworks, which is Mighty Number no. Two's level, which is interesting for a reason I'll explain shortly. So let's dig into the military base. So the opening of the game is you res in, and it's a pretty standard side-scrolling action platformer. You can run around, shoot your weapon, and you just have to target and destabilize the other robots, and then you dash into them to absorb their powers. Not much happens at this stage, you can get more health, more attack power, some ability, and the power you get depends on the particular robot that you're facing. And the faster you do it, the more points and Zell, which is the in-game name for the robot's power, you can get. And later on, this is also how you absorb the powers of the different mighty numbers that are at the end of each level, serving as the end of level bosses. And once you've absorbed them, you can transform into something, some sort of merger between your form and theirs. Uh, but that hasn't been implemented yet, so I won't be showing it here today. So yeah, overall, what do I think of this game? It's good. It's, um, they say, I've never played a Mega Man, front Mega Man game in the past, but if the Mega Man games are anything like this, then I should definitely go play them. Uh, this game is definitely one of the more enjoyable games I've played in a long time. Ah, sorry, just jump. There we go. Ah, that one always gets me, because you have to hit him. And then hit him again while he's firing. So yeah, then I say I have never played a Mega Man game, but I get the impression this is exactly how a Mega Man game was. It's not It's old school difficult, shall we say. So it's not Ah, this is what where I said it would be interesting. That character back there is Mighty Number no. Two. And he appears in this level as an ally, but the level where he is the boss character was released to the beta two weeks ago, so I'm curious if they'll stick with that as in showing which Mighty Number no. will be next release in each of the given levels that are released to the beta. The idea, certainly with one of the old, the old Mega Man games, was that oh, while you could face the, the, the other robots in any order, beating certain of them helped... Oh, I'm just gonna die there. So beating certain of the robots helped you... had more pa their attacks had more strength against various other of the robots, so that's what I'm thinking will happen here, is that while you don't, you can potentially beat them in any order, beating certain mighty numbers in other levels at first will be advantageous, like here, mighty number 2 helps you by defeating certain enemies that you yourself couldn't be, wouldn't be able to reach. Same is true of hit mighty number 2's level, where mighty number 1, I believe it is, shows up, and he helps, but I can't remember specifically how he helps. But time will tell us, see if that's how it pans out. And we get those. And that. 
So yeah, the game is sort of old school difficult. It can be frustrating at times, but I never get the sense that it was difficult because of sort of bad design. Difficult because of my own inability. I know a lot of games, the issue is that... Ah, oh, there's the support character who should give me some health. Oh no, not today. I guess I'm too strong. I do need a recharge, though. There are health refills you can pick up from the other robots and the support characters, but I keep forgetting to use them because I'm too focused on what's shooting at me. I should learn to pay attention to the health bar. So yeah, I never got the impression that the the game was punishing me for the sake of punishing me. It was always, if I only did this instead of that, I could have done better, or if I'd done this slightly differently, I would have fared better. Which is a problem a lot of games have in various places, but the difficulty would just randomly spike and then never to provide more of a challenge, but you just end up as frustrating rather than challenging. But uh, I didn't find that at all with this. I don't remember how much longer the level is. I think there's quite a bit, though. But there isn't much more to say about it, really. It's a good beta. If it's a, if this is a sign of things to come, then it should be a good game to finish. Ah, if we get to the top here, we can see Mighty Number no. 2's help in this level. So there's Mighty Number no. 2 in the background. You can see there, he's freezing those enemies. No, I wouldn't be able to do that myself. So, that's hopefully a sign of how it will work. That if I beat Mighty Number no. 2, say, he'll help me here. As opposed to if Mighty Number no. 2 is still corrupted, then I'll have to deal with that section myself somehow. I wonder how that will work. Which seems entirely reasonable. Oh, I'm just die again. I'm sure others in the Mighty community have played this level a lot more than I have and are much better at it than me. But yeah, not much more to say about it than that other really, other than, yeah. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come, and uh, when I will try to do some more videos of it as more and more of it gets released, you know, I'll, not every level, because what more is it to say about it really? In fact, let's go over to Mighty Number no. 2's level so you can see the difference quickly. Not that the, the gameplay is all very much the same. So there's res in. And water level, which are almost never to be horrible in any game, but it's not too bad here. Beck's movement in water does take a bit of getting used to. He's a lot more floaty than he was in the previous level. It does mean that he can jump higher, though. Beck is Mighty Number no. 9, that's his name. Because he, he, though he is the ninth Mighty Robot, his name is Beck. The other robots have names too. Mighty number no. 2 is named Crowsphere. Mighty number no. 5 is Battalion. There's also a support character, Cool, which is a nice pun. Beck and Cool. Also reference to Mega Man, maybe, since he was Rockman in Japan. And he had his ally character role, so they were rock and roll. So I imagine it's a similar thing going on here. But I digress. That's enough for me, really. Uh, it's a good beta. If it's a sign of things to come, then great. Looking forward to the rest of it. If you're interested to find out more, you can go to the website mightynumber9.com. I'll put a link to it somewhere in the description. And thanks for watching and see you again later. Goodbye and be mighty.